They would like you to know that they are honored to share this important day with people who have had a profound impact on their lives. They appreciate that you are here with them today and they are completely surrounded by people who love them as much as they love you. Chad and Allison have known each other since they were children. The magnetic energy between them sparked at the perfect time in their lives. Chad blinded Allison with his proposal, quite literally, blindfold and all, <laughs> and overwhelmed her with his thoughtfulness and with the view they shared. Now, they have set their sights on their life together as husband and wife. Chad and Allison have a passion for life that is infectious. They share laughter and love, being outdoors, growing together through their experiences with each other. Any marriage that starts with laughter, it will be a great marriage. <laughs> they enjoy working together in their printing company and continue to grow in love with each other. Their wedding today is the public and legal joining of two souls that are already united as one in their hearts. What is your love? If one were to get married, what would one's love be? Would one's love be small, quiet, shy? Or would one's love not be so easy to contain? Would one's love be effusive, emotive, gilded with superfluous words, like so many glittering diamonds? Or would one's love not be so insubstantial as to have to be dressed with unnecessary pretty words? Would one's love be fearless, unchecked by jealousy, untouched by the withering effects of a mind stuck only in the future and not the present? Or would one's love not be so prideful as to think it a conquered time itself? Someone once said that all great things in life are not things. So then, love would not be a thing to define. These words are falling short. If one were to get married, what would one's love be? Standing up here, holding hands, preparing to take a leap into a place uncharted, an experience that demands growth, tolerance, patience, love. The importance of words and definitions pale in comparison to the importance of faith. Faith in each other, faith in oneself, and faith in love. So then, the goal is not to spend a whole life trying to define this immensity called love, but being immersed in it sharing it, creating it, receiving it, and just simply experiencing it. Chad and Allison, this is where you will state your formal declaration of intention to each other. This is the I do part. <laughs> Chad, with a free and unguarded heart, do you promise to give to Allison all that you are and everything you will become? With respect and love, will you stand side by side through good times and bad? Are you willing to give your life and your love to Allison now and for as long as you both shall live? Absolutely do. And Allison, with a free and unguarded heart, do you promise to give to Chad all that you are and everything you will become? With respect and love, will you stand side by side through good times and bad? Are you willing to share your life and love with Chad now and for as long as you both shall live? Yeah. <laughs> Chad's father, Paul Paris, shall now come forward to read The Art of Marriage. The Art of Marriage. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never too old to hold hands over and over and over. 
It is remembering to say I love you at least once each day. It is never going to sleep angry, never. <laughs> Trust me, I know. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's, it's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation to each other and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It's a common search for good and for beautiful. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. Now it is time to exchange your vows, so if you please give your bridal bouquet. spiritually, mentally, and physically, serve you in every way possible, about to stay faithful in body, mind, and spirit, to be honest with you, and may sing a little at first. Most importantly, I vow to keep you happy by whisking you away as much as possible and by fulfilling your bucket list. My bucket list. bucket list became complete May 3rd, 2008. I've always wanted to be the woman of my dreams, my best friend, someone to fill in the space is where I lack, and the most beautiful woman I've ever seen inside and out. Someone who cares about others, is patient, generous, kind, loving, and glows from the inside out. Lastly, a student of life like myself. All that remains in my bucket list is to continue to shed tears of joy with you as much as possible. To make sure every day is like our wedding day. And that every word I share with you is shared as if it were a vow. I vow to continue to go towards God with peace, understanding, and humility within myself so that I can continue to serve you the fullest. Lastly, I vow never to leave you, no matter what. To hug and kiss you, to wipe your shit, wipe your tears, <laughs> <laughs> of sorrow and joy, to hold your hand to the best and the worst, to keep you safe, to hold you close to my heart, to give myself 100% to you, to never leave without saying I love you every day for the rest of our lives. This I vow to you. Love you. Always make me dig for me. Teammates till the end, I vow this to you. We are about to impend on the journey so true. Our taproot is deep, our roots are anchored. We now take our great leap and our hearts become tethered. You are my true love, and I will love you till you end. Thank you. 
Please present the ring. A circle has no beginning and no end. The wedding ring is a symbol of this circle of love. The rings are a reminder that love is never ending. They are the formal and visible sign of a promise and a spiritual bond in which two souls have united. Now Chad is to place the ring on her finger. I'm going to hold the mic and you're going to speak your vows to her. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. I always do. I give you my vow. I give you my vow. Of faithfulness. Of faithfulness. All that I am. That I am. And all that I will become. Not too. And all that I will become. This is the unity prayer. May the blessing of light be with you always, light without and light within. And may the sun shine upon you and warm your heart until it glows like a great fire so that others may feel the warmth of your love for one another. At this time, I ask Mr. Peter Chattel, Allison's father, to please come forward and sing. Make of their hands one hand. Make of their hearts one heart. Make of their vows one last vow. Only death can part them now. Make of their lives one life. Day after day, one life. Now it begins, now they start. One hand, one heart. Even death can't part them now. And lastly, to seal your vows. May this marriage, with the vows and promises you have just exchanged, ever remain in your hearts and symbolize your commitment to each other. May you always take care of each other, speak to each other with kindness, and show your love in your actions. By the virtue of the authority vested in me under the laws of the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please seal your marriage with a kiss. bittersweet and we have come to the end of Allison and Chad's wedding ceremony. In a moment, Chad will break the glass, signifying the beginning of their marriage and the time for celebration. The breaking of the glass serves as a reminder of the sanctity of marriage and the love of the bride and groom shall last longer than it would to make this glass perfectly whole together again. to introduce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Harris. Yeah. 